simple and compound sentences for kids. Hey kids, have you ever thought about the sentences you use to say things and express yourself? As you know, you use and hear sentences all the time. In fact, I'm saying and using sentences right now. Every one of the Clarendon Learning videos you've watched is full of all kinds of sentences. In this video, we're going to tell you all about simple and compound sentences. But first, what is a sentence? At its most basic, a sentence is formed when you put words such as nouns and verbs and adjectives together. The dog ran. That's a sentence. The dog ran and the boy decided to walk. That's also a sentence. But those two sentences are different, right? Yes. One of them is a simple sentence and one is a compound sentence. But let's step back for a second. First, let's talk about simple sentences. All you need to create a simple sentence is a subject and a predicate or verb. The subject of a simple sentence is the thing, person, or place that the sentence is about. And the verb or predicate is the action taking place or is related to something about the subject. In our sentence, the dog ran, dog is the subject and ran is the verb. It's that simple. But even if we add more information to the sentence, it's still a simple sentence. For example, the dog and boy ran. The boy ran and walked. The dog ran after a car and jumped over the fence. The boy ran home from school and played video games. Those are all simple sentences. Take a look at this sentence and see if you can spot the subject and predicate. The giant gray elephant walked quickly across the savanna. Yup, you got it. The subject is elephant and the predicate or verb is walked. John is tall. John is fast. John is funny. John is happy. You guessed it right again. John is the subject in all those sentences and the predicate is the word is. How about the man and woman work together? The subjects are man and woman and the predicate or verb is worked. One last example. Kim and Jeff smiled and cheered following the game. In that simple sentence, Kim and Jeff are the subjects and smiled and cheered are the predicates. Hey, it must have been a good game. As you can see, the subjects and predicates or verbs are easy to identify in those simple sentences. Remember, simple sentences can contain more than one subject and more than one predicate or verb. They're called compound subjects and compound verbs, but they're not the same as compound sentences. I know what you're thinking. You've kept us in suspense long enough. What exactly is a compound sentence? Well, let's dive into it. Basically, a compound sentence is two complete simple sentences or independent clauses put together into one. Take these two sentences. The dog ran after the car. The boy walked home from school. They're both simple sentences, right? But what happens if we put them together into one sentence? It would read, the dog ran after the car and the boy walked home from school. Now it's one sentence with two independent clauses. Thus, it's a compound sentence. Notice how there are two subjects and two predicates or verbs. The two independent clauses are joined together using the word and. Some other words that can be used to join simple sentences to make compound sentences are or, for, nor, but, yet, and so. Those short connective words are known as conjunctions. Hey, compound sentences are fun. Let's take a look at a few more. Mom wants me to do homework, but I want to play video games. Michaela enjoyed her visit to the beach, but she was not happy with the painful sunburn. The team lost the baseball game, yet the coach treated them to an ice cream cone. Do you want some broccoli? Or would you rather have a piece of cake? The sky is getting cloudy, so I think it might snow soon. Notice how each of those compound sentences can be broken into two simple sentences. Michaela enjoyed her visit to the beach. 
is one simple sentence. And she was not happy with the painful sunburn is another simple sentence. When joined together by the word but, it becomes a compound sentence. Pretty cool. From two simple sentences to one compound sentence just by adding a comma and conjunction like but. Of course, something to remember is that you can't just put any two simple sentences together to make a compound sentence. The sentences need to be closely connected and make sense together. Okay, I think you've got the hang of compound sentences. Oh, but there's one more thing. Whether you are writing simple or compound sentences, they must always begin with a capital letter and end with a punctuation mark, like a period, question mark, or exclamation point. And compound sentences have a comma in the middle separating the two simple sentences, followed by one of the conjunctions mentioned above, such as for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. So now that you know all about compound sentences, you can begin to identify the different types of sentences you read, recognize their differences, and remember that as you write your own stories and essays, you'll want to use a nice mixture of simple and compound sentences. That will make your writing more interesting than it already is. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.